Hi, I am Faisal Khan, Cisco Collaboration Instructor at Voice Bootcamp. In this video, we're going to talk about the Cisco Collaboration Deployment Model. Now, deployment model, which can generally be based on on-premise type solutions. They could be revolving around cloud-based environment, or of course, they could go for a hybrid type of integrations. Now, let's take a moment and just have a look at these three different type of options that we have. We have on-premise, which is where everything's located in a single office or a single building. You could have another office in a different uh, city or different uh, countries and then interconnect them using some sort of high-speed high connectivity. You could also then connect to your WebEx cloud type of uh, you know, uh, data center where you could connect the on-premise infrastructure with uh, cloud-based solutions as well. But typically, when we talk about uh, 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 an environment where everything was pretty much on premise, so that every single one of the different type of different devices, such as endpoints, routers, switches, whatever that may be, they're all usually typically located in a single location. Now, all of these, all of all of these devices that include the routers that would be used, uh, or even when something like cube devices that can be used to route a call, either would be uh, controlled hundred percent by the organization or by the network team. But the, nowadays, what's happening is some component could be managed and controlled by the uh, corporate uh, data center uh, or, or the team, whereas some component could be rented out based on a uh, user's basis. Now moving from that directions, all of these new services are starting to get released as a service-based orientation. That means you could actually rent uh, a call manager solutions or uh, conference solutions as opposed to owning this device, you could actually rent them uh, as we go along. Now, generally speaking, depending on the type of organizations, you are probably not going to either exclusively in either one. So sometimes you may need to do a hybrid where one, uh, you know, some part will be on site where some part will be uh, hosted at the cloud. Now, wherever you may be in a very small organization, you may choose to start out exclusively at a cloud based offering. And as you grow, you could start to build your own infrastructure in order to be less depending on the company. The problem with the cloud sometimes is that if you invest a lot of time and money on infrastructure that is owned and operated at someone else's location, well, what happens if that company goes broke? Or suddenly one day, one morning you wake up and they cease to operate. Well, that could be a, a serious uh, effect to your uh, stability. So you want to make sure that some you want to create a hybrid type of uh, solutions. Now, of course, that depends on the type of company you are. So, in on-premise network, you would have um, uh, some of the core component that are residing on your locate data center, and then you might be integrated with. Uh, cloud for various service. Now, I give an example, your main call control or main call manager solutions or IP telephony solutions could be internally managed, but because not everybody does web conferencing or video conferencing or some sort of uh, me online meeting on a regular basis, that part of the configuration can be outsourced to a cloud environment. Now, on-premise deployment where you have for example, uh, all the devices in single locations or uh, in a physical locations rather, you would have a uh, single site deployment or uh, multi-site with centralized call processing, but the core softwares or solutions or devices will be stored in your own data center. The advantage of doing that is that all your, uh, you have full control, you own the platform so that if, you know, you're not depending on another person's infrastructure. Now, the appliances that should be typically on-premise are, for example, Cisco Unified Communication Manager, which is your call control device, IM and Presence Server, which is basically your instant messaging, uh, Unity Connection, which is your voicemail, and of course, Cisco Meeting Server for internal uh, conferences. But if you want to provide more uh, robust confer conferencing solutions with external uh, vendor or users, or you may need to use certain type of services that may not be used on a regular basis, well then you can integrate the on-premise with your hybrid cloud, uh, sorry, a cloud premise uh, data center and basically design a hybrid type of environment. Now in cloud, you got collaboration services that are either delivered from the cloud that include voice, video, calling, 
messaging uh, meeting with video and a content sharing such as webex meeting and then services that are actually delivered from the cloud to your uh, team using a webex team uh, kind of like a messenger you could use webex meeting and cisco collaboration meeting rooms to provide web conferences uh, tele teleconferencing solutions this way you could leverage your existing infrastructure as well as uh, cloud-based infrastructure to provide a hybrid solutions. Now, cloud collaboration implementation can also include platform-based services that can be provided by third-party soft services for a provider, uh, such as um, uh, could be uh, authentication services or could be uh, messaging services, etc. like that. Now, you can also have a, a kind of like a Cisco-owned platform service, which is Cisco Hosted Collaboration Solution, where it's not something new, but has been around for probably a decade, where you could rent or host Cisco collaboration application at a service provider level and then rent it out to your customers on a fee-based solutions. Hybrid deployment, where it implementation, implementation can include on-premise as well as cloud-based services to provide a hybrid environment. So this would be like where you have a WebEx and you got your on-premise and you can provide kind of a shared services between them. Now, hybrid deployment model, including enterprise calling, uh, cloud messaging and conferencing, and enterprise calling with cloud calling as well as messaging. So you could have uh, enterprise calling feature, like a call manager internally uh, on premise, but you could use the messaging and web uh, conferencing from the cloud. Or you could be using enterprise calling with cloud calling feature as well as messaging. So these are some of the options that you have. The enterprise calling with cloud messaging and conferencing. This type of deployment where communication manager and Unity connections will reside on premise uh, for call control, voice and a video messaging as well as web, uh, WebEx messenger. But WebEx meeting for IM and presence, voice, video, web-based conferencing uh, can be provided in these solutions as well. But if you're going to use enterprise calling with the cloud calling and messaging in this type of environment, the call manager will be on premise for voice, video, and WebEx. By the web uh, and WebEx meeting and hybrid services can be used for voice and video calling between on premise and the cloud services. So these are the different type of deployment model that you can implement on premise where you own the system on your data center, everything is in physically located in your uh, control. Whereas uh, cloud, where you rent the service as a platform or as an application, uh, you pay per user or pay per uh, services, or you could create a hybrid solutions where you mix both of them, uh, kind of like you know 50-50, depending on what uh, ap uh, applications you want to use. So these are uh, going forward into this CL core. You uh, uh, you will learn various type of integrations, and we as we go through the rest of the module of CCNP collaboration, you will uh, you will be integrating part of the cloud services into your uh, on-premise data center. So that's pretty much it for this video, and I hope you got an idea about the difference between on-premise and a cloud and a hybrid solutions. And I will see you in the next video.